What's up, you guys, and welcome to Read the Room. My name is Chase the Dark Sage, and today I'm your host for another Jojolian read through. And then the last few chapter readings that we had, Strugi got hit with the disease. Holly basically died. Yasuho is on the verge of getting the new Rokuka, which we actually saw a glimpse of that in the last chapter, and Jobin threw her down the toilet. First of all, if you're confused on what I meant by that, then I probably spoiled you on a few things. But go check out the last read through. But that's basically what happened. Yasuo is currently drowning because, well, she's in the toilet. Good things just aren't happening within the Higashikado household right now. In fact, the whole Higashikado family in general. Nothing good is happening for them at all. And I'm ready to get into today's read through because I'm ready to see what's actually about to happen. Yasuo has lost an arm. Oh. What does she do to deserve to lose an arm? But if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't already. And check out the Patreon, lowest tier is a dollar. You can see these pages weeks, weeks, weeks ahead of time and I'm blurred. But without further ado, I'm ready to see what's about to happen. So let's go ahead and get into it. Chapter 95, The Wonder of You, The Miracle of Your Love, Part 12. And we have the little rock healing things. They're not healing, but they're like the rock scars. I guess that's what we're going to call them rock scars on top of josuke let's go ahead and get into the chapter right here and we see that obviously the arrow that did break the wall damaged the room with the stag beetles some of them i always see loose but obviously we have the new rokaka now out of the actual little stag beetle casing and now we're looking outside uh, stand attack there's no doubt about it this is a calamity is that the name of the stand because if so that would be a hard stand name but let's go ahead and keep going we see norske walking in we see joven uh-oh look at look at joven look at the shadow over joven's face all right norske is looking up uh, the gashikata siblings are looking ah uh, uh, oh shurugi's getting worse i thought like you know it already hit shurugi's just getting even worse <laughs> oh my gosh this has to be monstrous right now what are you what are you guys doing in here what on earth is happening all right so now we see it looks like Oh, I thought Mitsuba was pulling the phone out. All right, I'm going to die. Help. What the? All right, so now we see Mitsuba and Sarugi. Basically, oh my gosh, this is crazy right now. Now we just see Jovan just looking. Jovan's just, oh, Jovan is so menacing right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm falling apart. Is that you? Is that Yasuo-chan? What is this? Out of the way. Isn't that Paisley Park in there? Y yasuo -chan. in the phone? I'm asking you, what the heck is everyone doing? Oh, okay. So Norisuke saved Yasuo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha. Jobin, I'm talking to you. Dad. Uh-oh. I hope you'll understand this. It won't be long now. Very soon, the Agashikata family will win. Win everything. Oh, my gosh. This is the right path. There's no other choice. It will cure Sarugi's illness as well. What? Please, Norisuke-san, next to the computer. Please move Paisley Park over to that closer to the power outlet. All right? Please hurry. Dad, put that smartphone back in the water. <laughs> the son is ordered around the dad? Oh, I know he's not getting bucked with Norske. Norske doesn't have an offensive stand, so I don't know about that, but still. Joe, but that's your father. And where has the mom been this whole time? Kato literally came in just to stir up some mess and then left. She has not been seen ever since. Mm, let's keep going, though. All right, so we see Norske right here. We see the broken room or wall or whatever with the new Rokuka. Oh, oh. Now Yasuo was falling apart. Oh, my gosh. She's still falling apart. She's just sweating while all the water is coming out of her. And look, look at the head doctor. He's literally in the garage right now. This is crazy. Ah, all right. Now we see the head doctor. He, he's still there. What even is that head doctor? Yeah, facts. What is he? Because how can you be in multiple places? Does he have two abilities? He has to have like two abilities. Because there's no way. Please hurry. You've got to get Paisley Park closer to the power outlet. Dad, that's an intruder. Would you please put it back in the water right now? Put it back? Uh oh, uh, uh. we can't let it go back outside this house. We can't allow it. Even Sarugi acknowledges that. Mitsuba too. <laughs> this boy Joven is not good. Just take that cell phone and throw it back into the water. Please, Dad. So what you're talking about is that flower pot. I can see through the broken wall. Joven, have you had the new Rokoka branch all this time? Uh oh, huh? The, that's? Uh oh, everybody's seeing it now. Joe was quiet. Yes, that's right, Dad. That's a new Rokoka branch. I've been growing it, and now it's grown a fruit. It looks like it's grown more than just one fruit, but... Oh, this is a high point, because now everybody is seeing Jobin for kind of who he is, ready to kill Yasuho. Well, not ready to kill Yasuho. He's trying to kill Yasuho. Like, because Dorsuke saved her. He was like, yo, put that phone back in the water. I said, put that phone back in the water, Dad. <laughs> what you trying to get into? That's what Jobin is acting like right now, which is crazy. And he's saying it's everybody's found out. Everybody sees the new Rokoka fruit. 
all right now all the Higashikata family is looking basically at him except for the mom where's the mom still <laughs> Sarugi and I obtained obtained it during the orchard fire in just a few more hours we could use it to heal Sarugi that's the truth of the matter the curse that's plagued our family for our generations will be broken finally this family won't have to sacrifice anyone but you cannot let that outside at this point we can't let the existence of the Rooker Kalik outside the curse Joe for a long time now we really haven't seen eye to eye Oh, we about to get it heart to heart. This is about to be juicy. Our perspectives on managing the fruit parlor on, on Sarugi's illness are vastly different. My way of thinking is far more old fashioned. Perhaps I was wrong not to recognize the values, benefits, and techniques of the new era. Okay, okay. I like this right now. I like this. But if you're saying you could break the curse, uh oh, then you may be right. I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. In that case, I'll go along with what you say, my eldest son. Oh, no, Norske son. D Dad, however, that is if and only if we are indeed walking on the right path. On that flower pot you got your hands on, there's traces of something that smells, that's left a smell I'm concerned about. Is he about to use a stand ability? I forgot all about his stand ability because we only seen it being used once. Is he about to use a stand ability? What is he about to trace off of that? Okay, let's let's see where this goes. All right, so now I'm going to investigate those traces. You don't mind, right? Did something happen to that Rokoka branch? Joven, someone besides you has been touching that flower pot. So to find if this is right, I'm going to investigate that smell. <laughs> Nothing. I'm so hype, I'm so hype, I'm so hype. Where is this going? Oh my gosh. And look, Joven looks shook. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we see King Nothing forming. All right, that's Daddy Stan. He's usually good to see what the smell attached to the pot is. I get why they're saying that out loud because we haven't seen King Nothing in so long. And for obviously the people who are reading this monthly, they probably maybe might have forgotten what the actual ability fully does. I mean, they probably have the gist, but they probably are like, eh, I'm kind of still foggy on it, especially if you're reading this monthly and you were current with it. Obviously, I'm binging so I can remember this. Plus, I kind of read it twice since I actually read it, then I edit it. All right, that's all right. So now we see King Nothing forming. Oh, this is this has been a long while since we've seen King Nothing. Oh, Sarugi, ah, ah, it's taking form. He could track it. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait, wait. It's taking form, but who is this? All right, who is this? Who is this? Oh, what what is this? All right, ah, uh, huh? The that man. All right. So now we're looking. Sarugi is still turning. Oh my gosh. This person. Oh, is this Ojiro? He's trespassed into my house through that window. Oh, this is Ojiro. Okay. He trespassed into my house through that window. And then he picked up that flower pot. I'm not going to lie. In puzzle format, Ojiro looks fly. But in regular format, he don't look fly at all. All right. And carried it at one point out of this house. All right. That appearance. That's, I don't believe it. That man. I, I know him. The face that belongs to. It's all coming together now. I am having a breakthrough. So those earlier chapters where Sarugi was framed for the murder, it's kind of calling back to that because obviously Sarugi was framed. Mitsubo was at that little PTA meeting or whatever. And the woman that died, she was with Ojiro. And obviously we had the whole Ojiro plot that happened, which he tried to invade the house and tried to steal the plan himself. But either way, Jobin killed both of them. So now we're about to find out that Jobin killed two people who didn't really need to be killed necessarily because neither of them were rock humans. One was a regular human that was just greedy. And the other was just a person that, you know, wanted to get his fingers back kind of from the actual rock of fruit. But he was willing to blame Jobin, even though Jobin was wrong for, you know, the money laundering. Even still, that still connects. I feel like we didn't need really a a long arc like we did get from that even though it wasn't like a long arc like that i just feel like that arc shouldn't have been as long to hit this point right here because this point still hits either way and i don't feel sorry for ojiro and what happened to him but either way i feel like that arc shouldn't have been as long for this to still hit the way it does hit right now okay okay because now mitzvah's like wait i know the mom or the 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 wife or whatever or the girlfriend in this instance she was boyfriends with him and they were both were dead and it was on the newspaper because norske was reading the newspaper earlier in this arc iraqi's a genius should no one ever test iraqi's gangster when it comes to writing because what the f in my head i'm looking at that arc like uh, that arc is uh and the arc is still uh but it still ties into what happens later on where we're at right now i forgot all about king nothing i didn't think we was gonna see king nothing like that again i thought we was gonna see it maybe in the final fight 
but now we're seeing it right here being used and it's about to show the true crimes that Jobin has really committed around this whole little new Rokika branch. Hmm, okay, everything is coming together. Yes, yes, I like this Araki. But now everybody is shocked because Jovan, he's found out by now. Oh man, oh, and now we see the newspaper clippings of those two, the couple being found dead. Team owner Katani was discovered drowned in her mantra's pool with Ojiro Sasume san. The cause of death of both people was found to be cerebral infraction. Oh yeah, now everybody's scared of Jovan. Look how Jovan's looked at right now. Look at him. He got the mask sign behind him. Jovan has been full out evil now at this point he has good intentions it's kind of like a thanos thing where like thanos he's doing it for the good of the universe but the way he's going about it is still bad either way he's doing bad things not necessarily for a good cause because he still had the affinity gauntlet in that sense but jobin is trying to do a good thing to break the curse but i like the fact that araki really got me he really had me because norske he was like I'll, I'll go with you son because if you could break the curse i'll do it as long as you're walking the right path the old school traditions still work not all of them but they still work i love araki's writing of norske and jobin both being these two dichotomies of old school versus new school essentially and certain things got to be done in a nuanced way while well not really a nuanced way jobin is just yeah while you know norske is like good is good there is nothing else like it's you can't do bad in order to achieve good let's keep going because i'm really liking this right now all right D dear just what happened in your stag beetle room. That face is Shrugi. Did you know about this too? Both of them died three days ago. That's Mokoran's uh, boyfriend. They both died in their own pool. All right, so now we see Ojiro hopping out the window. We see Norske looking. Ah, ah. Now it's consuming him because now Shrugi's emotions are now just flustering him while the disease is taking over him as well. Oh man, Shrugi. Ah, ah, oh, and now we see Yasuo right here. Wait, no, 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 no. Because why do I see the little... Why do I see smoke coming from Yasuo? Oh no, I don't like this. All right, Yasuo chan. Ah, uh, uh, nor Ske. All right, Jobin, what did you do to this man? Uh oh. <gasps> Is that speaking about to touch Norske? We only read one chapter in this video because this chapter is way too much. Oh my gosh, Dad. Now, Jobin's crying. Uh, uh, no. Jobin isn't about to go. No, Jobin is not about to go this far. Sorry, Dad, please. I can't turn back from this path. Please forgive me. Jobin hit Norske with his stand belt? Let me take, let me take a moment. I, I know we're not about to go right here. This is tears of like sadness, but also hypeness because of the moment. I'm not hyped to see like, hey, hey, Norske died. I'm not saying that. I'm saying hype because look at the climax of the decisions of what led these two up to this point right here. Araki has been giving us seeds and has been watering these seeds over the second part of Jojolian. And it now comes to this climax right here. Jobin's about to kill his own father? And Norske, it's not like he's doing a bad thing, but Jobin is just so dead set on his path that he's willing to kill his own father? Hold up a second. Hold up a second. Oh man. Oh man. It's different when we see someone like Holly die and we don't see the we see the reason why she died, right? Because of the whole Rokuka thing. And we see Yasuo being hurt. And then we see Sarugi get hit with the disease. We see Jobin killing Norske, someone who has supported Josuke. Not, I'm not going to say through all the parts, but he's given Josuke a home. He's supported him with helping him find Arogaka. He's helped fight him, Yatsuya with him. And he's believed in him and given him the access to Rey. And he's basically helped the family survive with the fruit parlor. And he's just a good dude overall. To see Jobin really about to kill us. Oh my gosh, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. Jobin's really about to do it. Jobin, you. Oh no. Now it's spreading the Norske's hand because he touched it. Oh my gosh. And now we cut from a wide shot scene and we just see Norske falling down and we just see him laid out. So that's how Norske died. I'm assuming now since he's dead, they're going to sacrifice his body. And that's why Sarugi was maybe carrying him downstairs. But that means that maybe Sarugi used Rokuka at that point. I don't know. I got to see where this goes because... 
I gotta see where this goes because obviously he wasn't sacrificed yet because he was in that body bag, but Sarugi was completely fine when he was carrying Norsuke's body bag. So either Sarugi took the Rokuka and used it, or maybe they could do the sacrifice outside the shrine. I don't know. No, they can't. Mm. So then how does Sarugi? I don't know. Let's keep going. But the, the siblings are right there. What are we about to do? Now everybody's looking. Big bro. And now we see Norsuke dead. Ah, he couldn't get Yasuho to the. Oh, he couldn't get Yasuho to the outlet. Oh, F. 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 Rocky. Chill. These last four to five chapters? Chill. Why is he pulling out my emotions like this? Why is he pulling out my heart like this? These are this is probably one of the saddest arcs in JoJo besides what happened in Still Ball Run. And what happened in part six? Oh, this is like top three saddest moments. This is like top three. T definitely top five. It's definitely hitting the contender for top five. But this is to me top three. Where does ranks run the top three? I don't know about that. Don't ask me that. But mm, mm. okay, let's keep going. All right, so now Jovan is just crying because he had to kill his father for his goal. He didn't necessarily have to, but in his eyes, he had to kill him. And now it looks like he's just breaking down crying because he had to kill his father. Daddy, daddy, what happened? All right, this this can't be happening, can it? Wh why? This is Esrugi here. Wait, is Mitsubo gonna sacrifice herself? Because look at what's happening to Esrugi. Oh man, I, I can't. How could this be happening? Wah! Daddy, daddy, daddy! Joven has lost it. He literally just punched the air right in front of his siblings. You'd better, uh oh, be prepared. Otherwise, close your mouth. We, the Agashikata family, are moving forward on this path. The right path. Oh, he's off the deep end. We have literally seen his progression from being eh, type of guy to being a weird guy to now he's just full out evil. I get that he could have a great motive for being evil. He has a great motive, but the things he was he's doing to those motives to get to, to that goal or motive, that's what's making him evil. Mm. This is probably one of the best chapters that we've gotten in Joe Jolene because all that time that we spent getting his backstory, getting the flashback with him and Norris at the baseball game, those two not really seeing eye to eye, us getting sprinkles of Joven here and there, us having like strong bits of Norsuke at the beginning of Joe Jolian towards the middle part of Joe Jolian. I didn't, I told y'all towards the end of JoJo's apart, people gonna die. Obviously, Yoshikage Kira and you know, just who made kind of died and made into one, but either way, people are dying. Okay, let's keep going. Now, Jobin's walking out, putting him in the body bag. Oh, yeah, so his hand was bloody. I forgot that. All right, so now the siblings are just looking in shock and all. So am I. The time to harvest this plant is at sundown. It's not long, though. It's not long now. We have already obtained everything. We are winning. Oh, my gosh. And it's funny because I remember at the beginning of Joe Jolian, I would always concentrate because it was just weird to me that Josuke would always say, I'm the winner or I'm the one who won. Now Jobin is the one that's a winner. Jobin or at least sees himself as the winner. He sees himself as winning. Winning is his main goal in this whole situation. Winning is his life goal to be on top of everything, to win. But that's also Josuke's goal as well is to win. The dynamics, the parallels. Oh, okay. Rocky, I see where this is going now. Let's see. All right. So now we see the phone near the outlet. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That means Josh, you did it? I can't say I don't like Joshu anymore when Jobin has done all he's done. Joshu hasn't done anything as bad as Jobin, obviously, clearly. But this right here took some balls, especially when you saw the man who is your older brother, who you looked up to, kill your father. But you still tried to save Yasuo, even though it was against your brother's wishes. Okay, Rocky, you always do this. The characters I don't like, you somehow make me like them, except for Poco Loco. It's still F Poco Loco. Oh my gosh. Now Jovan's looking. All right. Now they're all scared. Uh oh. And now we see that the plant is right behind them as well. Uh oh. Yeah. You came back. Uh oh. 
you came back paisley park i have to call help here oh my gosh what's about that the head doctor is right there i forgot all about him so much was happening everybody's in disarray we see some of the rock humans we see some of the stuff that was happening at the actual pta meeting or at, uh Surugi school we see sarugi we see ojiro oh man this is a calamity the calamity has been continuing ever since back then back when i got home from the hospital this calamity is an attack an attack on me and those around me my children my husband and the whole higashikata family have been caught up in it even josuke khan yasuo san and those around them the enemy is the head doctor whenever i see the figure of the head doctor a disaster comes to collide into me and yasuo san went outside the house uh-oh Let's go ahead and talk about chapter 95. I don't know, man, but this probably has to be the best chapter in JoJo Land so far because the payoff that we've gotten from all the things that Araki has led up to from all of JoJo Land, from the beginning, from the middle, from the 75% mark up till now. I, I don't know what to say. And I never know what to expect when it comes to Rocky's writing with his characters, with his world, with the events that are going on. Because something unusual, something bizarre, because I haven't said that word in a long while, something bizarre is always happening. I just didn't see this coming. Joven killing his own father? I mean, the last person I think we've seen do that really was Dio from part one. Really? five chapters we going like this back to back like this with rocky rocky said oh i'm gonna hit y'all with everything at this right here no more jokey i got all my jokes out at the beginning <laughs> now y'all not getting no more jokes there's no more jokes i don't remember the last time i laughed mm. mm. y'all so almost died mm -mm. y'all so almost died man y'all almost ready to kill her no not ready he was gonna kill her and then when norsuke saved her he was still trying to kill her and because norsuke didn't want to do that and then norsuke found out what was happening well, Ojiro and the other woman who he was like, dog, these people ain't really going to hurt anybody like that. We saw the truth come out finally. And now Jobin has to pay for his sins. And now Tsurugi is just going through it right now. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what to say, man. I'm... Wow. Wow. This has to be the best chapter in Jojo. Lin. Like I said, all the stuff, the sprinkles that we was getting from Araki leading up to this. I didn't expect it. Man, let me know what you thought about this in the comment section down below. Wow. Like the video, hit the subscribe button. Patreon, lowest here's a dollar. See these chapters weeks ahead of time, and I'm blurred, obviously. But as usual, JoJo only play this right here. The latest read through right here. Thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. I'm gonna go cry in this corner now. Peace.